Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Still a little chilly here on the co northern coast of America. Sun is starting to come out. Yay! Got my warm pink coat on over, over my Mexican Baja pullover. Everybody needs one, I'm telling you, man. Get two. Uh, make sure they're thick, though. So I've seen some thinner ones. No, make sure they're nice and puffy. Those are the good ones, like a blanket. <clears throat> this video is going to be about the Oscars. I, well, I, I mentioned in my last video when I was talking about cannabis, um, real briefly about the ratings of the Oscars and how they tanked and how it was the second worst ratings ever. For, for those who don't understand what that means, that means nobody was fucking watching it. And they know this. They know they're getting, they're not popular. The problem is really simple. These people get rich and then they forget who the fuck they are. They forget reality. They forget the people that, that pay, that paid for their success are now struggling fucking hard because of the people that they pushed into office. Bo Biden was getting his ass kissed by everybody in fucking hot. Well, they weren't really jumping for this motherfucker, but you know what I mean? Rock. Great example. Dwayne Johnson, he's a piece of shit. He went out and did a video for Biden. He had these big old titty things too. It's like, what the fuck? It looked like he got bit by a fucking bee and had an allergic reaction or something, man. That dude's got way too much steroids in the brain. Sad, right? All these motherfuckers start jawing and next thing you know, you're just like, don't like you no more. Robert De Niro, fuck Trump. Okay, Grandpa, sit the fuck down. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Sit the fuck down. Anyway, the point is, is they're elites, they're rich, and they're fucking completely out of touch. I don't even think that that, that might have been staged. I don't even see how that was just not fucking, they're like, we need drama. Nobody's watching. I wonder if they could like feel the fucking, the lack of, you know, excitement for that. Nobody cares anymore. Celebrities used to be fucking cool human beings. Keanu Reeves, he is like the only exception I can literally think of right now. That I would not lump into that douchebag elite category. Period. He's the only one I can think of. I mean, he might know some of them that are probably a lot nicer than we know. Because he's in there. I'm sure Holly Berry and all them people are cool. But, you know what I mean? Not everybody's an asshole, but a lot of them are. Especially the ones that are directors and they're fucking, you know, that whole scumbag, pedophile bullshit. The point is, is they're, they suck and people know it. We're tired of their shit. We don't like them anymore. Don't tell us what to think. Don't tell us what to believe. Don't tell us what to eat. Don't tell us how to feel. We don't have the luxury of being able to have personal trainers Know when we're going to have food whenever we fucking want. Know when we can fill our gas tanks without even fucking thinking twice about that shit with our platinum car. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about nothing. You ain't got motherfuckers coming after you for bills. Unless you're MC Hammer or some shit. I don't know. Some people fuck that shit up. They get rich and then they lose it. But You know what I mean? The point is, is we don't like them no more. It's just like the aristocrats in the French Revolution. They thought they were the shit. And at some point, they, they, the ass has got dragged down and beheaded. Yeah, uh -huh. these are some brutal motherfuckers. Like I said, when people, people are cheering you getting your head lopped off, you probably fucking done something wrong. You probably were on the wrong side of something. We can only hope, but I'm just going to say that because normally people don't take delight in such horrible fucking things, but you must have been a bad, no, they must have been some. Mel Brooks did a great, he was awesome. He was, he was old school. He did bla he, Blazing Saddles. So he wasn't, he didn't give a fuck about controversy, but he was liberal too at that time. So they were different liberals, but he did a skit. I don't know if it's history of the world where he had the elite liberal or the elite, um, the French royalty and they were like, pull. And they had like fucking peasants flying through the air and they were shooting them like skeet. I mean, it was like, but that's how ridiculous it was. But he was like over dramatizing the fact that that's what they thought. Of the poor people in their country they thought of them as fodder just you could shoot them you know it was like fucking nothing and that's what they that's what the elites think about us pelosi and her for, in the middle of a lock that everybody's starving she's like i have a fridge full of expensive ice cream it was like out of touch they don't understand it Pel 
AOC, she was a bartender who who done who did porn before she, you know, come on, she was a low brow bartender. I don't know where the fuck she came from. They just she answered an ad to the, they needed some, you know, what I mean, needed new blood, so they needed some actresses. So anyway, so yeah, yeah, this chick is just a joke, and she's richer than hell now. So don't be wearing no tax the rich because you are the rich bitch, please. Who anyway? So yeah, the Oscars was a joke. Movies used to be something amazing, I, and it hurts my heart because I used to love cinema. I love cinema, old school cinema. I don't give a shit about it anymore. But yeah, old school cinema used to be amazing. The Oscars used to be amazing. Harry Belafonte, amazing. Um, I'm not sure about that one movie. That was really weird. Um, Harry, what was it? Uh, uh, Sidney Poitier. To Sir With Love. Amazing fucking actor. Those were the, that was the Oscars. When he got, won that Oscar, that was the height. That was the height of the Oscars. That was the height of prestige. People watched. People loved it. It was awesome. And now they've all just gone to shit. It's sad. Overindulgent, self-delusional, narcissistic, ego-driven assholes. That is our entertainment elite. Uh, except for Keanu Reeves. I'm sure a few others. But anyway. I love you. God loves you. The universe is tired of watching these douchebags run the show. So We need some new blood. We need some new cinema. We need new life in this world. Let's rock it, people. In the age of Aquarius, let's see if we can't get some really... I'd love to make movies. We can do cinema. We can do it without these assholes. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.